Hey, righty. What's up, everybody? Another beautiful day, man. What's up, Coach E? How you doing, brother? Oh, man, it's a wonderful day, man. Uh, so much going on with this second quarter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast. Hey, people, before we get started, before we go ahead and jump into the segment, let's go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the comment, hit the subscribe, wherever you're viewing this live stream, whether it's live or on the replay, give us some interaction, yeah. leave us some comments, let us know what you think about the new background, let us know what you think about our updates and our changes, we love your feedback, and we uh, definitely do take heed to that, and you know, we, we definitely do make changes accordingly, if enough people you know, vote for something, then we'll, we'll definitely take uh, heed to it, but thank y'all for joining, uh, and like be e alluded to we're gonna be talking about second quarter goals today second quarter goals y'all <sighs> one thing that we really format our and i'm just speaking about me and e right now one thing that we really format our work ethic behind is the 12 week year yeah 12 yes. week year so right. we work as if we are putting four years into one calendar year you know that that really you know pushes us to set aggressive goals and even more importantly it puts that good pressure on us to uh, always make progress every single day because if you're you know if every week is essentially one month you know like you gotta be you know a pedal to the metal so you know and we've had a very very successful first quarter uh if i may say so myself but um yeah i'll let e chime in on the second quarter stuff hey bro um now I want I want to touch on this time uh element that um you uh mentioned, you know, like as as life has uh progressed, I've heard I just heard this from Ed Millett. Uh shout out to the Ed uh Millett dynamic speaker, but he has a formula where he gets three days out of each 24 hours. So he's taking it to a whole nother level. So because he believes Who's to say that one day is 24 hours? Now, we know nature and, you know, how things cycle. But in his world, from 6 a.m. to noon is one day. From noon to 6 p.m. is another day. From 6 p.m. to midnight is another day. From midnight, like, this is, how, I think it's three or four days he gets out of one day. And he says that he's able to do more. And think of that in a month. He just did 90 days worth of work in a month. And that's what keeps him ahead of everybody. So I know that we live in this, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Some real old, <laughs> where we're still setting back time and, you know, all that stuff happened because they were burning ca candles and we didn't have electricity, but we still hold on to these archaic uh, traditions and what I'm challenging everybody to do is look back at the first quarter. We knocked off some major things and got some major momentum. But I have I, I'm, I'm gonna be fully transparent, you all. And I don't mind this at all. One second, let me make sure uh, everything is set up. But the thing is, uh, we didn't achieve every goal that we set out. I'll be transparent with it. We missed the mark on some of them because we set the mark so high that we didn't hit them. Yeah. But the, but what we became in the process of going after those goals That's it right there. is the most critical. That's why it's such a win and people see their goals and everybody sets these goals at New Year's. Me, personally, I hate the first quarter being January. To me, that should be the third quarter because everybody's doing everything in January. I like having uh, July as the first quarter of the year. But, you know, that that's that's my fiscal year. But that either way, we still do it in increments of quarters or 12 weeks. And we set the bar so high. But, man, we knocked off some things. You all have been seeing a lot of that. Look at the background. Look at the improvements that we made. Uh, we've been posting everywhere. Our TikTok numbers and YouTube numbers are going out the roof. Like everything is going good because we set these plans in the first quarter. 
we set these goals in the first quarter. Now, as I stated, we didn't hit all of them the way we wanted to. But the, or do do we look like we're upset? Like, oh, I didn't get my goal. I didn't accomplish my goal. I'm sick. No. Absolutely. Right, right, right. Because you still, we kept going with it. And now what we're gonna what we're doing right now is hitting the reset button. Okay, let's look at what we did since January. And what can we do differently or even the same between now, April 1st, to the end of June, the second quarter? And once we look, because a lot of you all have made some annual goals. A lot of you all have made some annual plans. And that's okay if that's what you want to do. And you ain't did nothing. <laughs> hey, you know they, they, I, I'll get to it. You got a whole year to get to it. I'll get to it later. I'll get to it next month. Uh, I got to do my taxes. Uh, school, you know, it's, Easter was around. It was my birthday. Like, man, it's all type of excuses in this first quarter. Everybody, I was supposed to go to the gym. Well, I ain't going to go because too many people go to the gym in January. Man, stop it. The gyms are empty. I just left there earlier. It was 10 people in that whole gym. All these New Year resolutions done fell off. And we just in April. So what we're saying is make it more of a bite-sized chunk. Make it more of what you can achieve within those first few months, that first quarter, and then keep measuring and measuring and adjusting along the way. Don't wait a year until you adjust. Adjust every quarter. Adjust every 12 weeks. Because if you wait until the end, there's people like me and Dimitri that are adjusting Every week, what, yeah. what do we need to do better? What do, you know? What, what can we do better? What book do I need to read? Oh, we got the YouTube algorithm, Mr. Beast. It, what? What? Was, I'm listening to this on the way to work, on the way home, on the way to the gym, in the gym, before I go to sleep. I want to hear what he's talking about, but I, I, I'm rambling, man. Jump on in there, Dimitri. Man, man yeah, you you um you you hit on some really good points, man. And uh, that's that's one of the points that you recently touched on was what I was gonna kind of expand on, uh, or just kind of make a a comparison to how these social media platforms have started to highlight maybe about a couple years ago and started to push these reels and these shorts and everything because. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Antonia. Um, because they know that people's attention spans are consistently getting shorter and shorter. So they have to find different ways to get the content out there to the people, but also keep their attention long enough to be able to absorb whatever topic they want them to see and you know gain some information on. So that's one of the reasons why we kind of moved to that 12 week year, <clears throat> because just like he said, like we had to break it up in bite-sized chunks, you know, because just, just like how it's tough to achieve those annual goals because our, our, first of all, our attention span can't fathom doing something consistently for 12 months. You know, like once we lose, we as people lose that motivation and inspiration and that feeling, once that feeling dies of, Oh, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go to achieve this goal. Once that feeling goes, then most people's actions go down the drain along with it because the time span between when they set the goal and when they expect to achieve the goal is way too long. So if you condense that timeline and say, hey, OK, give give you that, you know, like like he always says, dangling that carrot in front of you, if if the, if that carrot is within arm's reach versus you having to, you know, get something to help you reach it, you know, it like you'll more than likely achieve that goal or get that carrot short term because it's easy for you to reach out and grab it and you don't need any assistance from any other aid or anybody else. So long story short, you know, mm -hmm. breaking everything up into these quarterly goals for us, we have found a, a lot of success in that because we are, you know, getting that incentive. We are uh, getting that reward for our efforts a lot sooner and a lot more frequently because we set these midterm and these short-term goals versus these long-term goals. We have to put all this work in all year just to maybe, maybe hit the goal that we achieve that we set out to achieve. 
and think about this, you all. I'm piggybacking on what he said. You know, have you ever, how does it feel on New Year's? Like when, when the countdown comes and the ball gets ready to drop, everybody's in celebratory mode, right? Everybody wants to celebrate. We got a new year. We've done so much. What if you did that four times a year? When, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm not a big, um, big uh, Christmas person or any type of holidays, but what would happen if you had Christmas four times a year, Mother's Day four times a year, birthday four times a year, New Year's four times a year? Like, why wouldn't we want to celebrate four times a year? Why do we want to wait until the end? Because you know what happens. When you get at the end, now we scrambling, trying to meet the, killing yourself in the gym. I ain't going to eat nothing for Thanksgiving. That's a lie. And you know it's a lie. But we do all these things and we beat ourselves up, you all. And what I'm saying and what we're suggesting is give it a shot. The first quarter's gone. If you didn't achieve anything in that first quarter, that's okay. Hit the reset button and say, you know what? I'm going to do one goal. Normally, we like three, but do one. Just say for 12 weeks, I'm going to do this one thing. Even Here's an easy one. I'll, I'll give you one, all a layup. Set an alarm in your phone and say, I'm going to say my affirmations every day. That's as easy. You can't go. There's no reason for you not to be able to achieve that goal. And what would happen if you said it two, three times a day? Because guess what's happening? Habits are forming. Auto suggestion, different things are happening. And, and the most powerful thing we have is right here between our ears, you all. Like, I mean, I, I and I know I'm going down, but I got to bring it back to the mindset because think about this. We're not as big, as strong as most animals. I mean, if you look at it just from a physical perspective, we're, we're probably one of the weakest. Like, we can't jump that high. We can't run that fast. It's, it, I can name off all the animals that can do everything, breathing underwater. We can't do none of that. There's animals right now that can do it. But what we can do that they can't do is literally take nothing and turn it into something with the power of your mind. That's how dynamic your mind is that you can literally think your way. The One of the most famous books, Think and Grow Rich. He didn't say work hard. He didn't say pray a lot. He didn't say go legit. He said, think, use this thing right here. And what we do, because we are programmed, we are on autopilot, we accept life on its terms. And hey, this is just me. It's just how I am. I ain't changed. Listen, if you there, then I pray that you come to your senses and realize how powerful this thing is, how powerful this thing truly is. And, and here's the thing about the brain. It transforms. You don't have the same brain that you had a year ago. This is a scientific fact. If anybody wants to look this up. If you focus on great things, think about this, you all. Somebody that was born in poverty, that's 21 years old and been in poverty their whole life, compared to someone who's 21 years old and has had a silver spoon in their mouth, they have the same size brain, the same functions, everything is the same, but why is it different? Well, I'm a victim of my circumstances. No, you're not. It's because what did they focus on? This is why the rich gets richer, because they focus on riches. This is why the ones that are impacting or creating even more impact, because that's what they're focused on. And in order to shift this focus, you have to set goals. You have to create new habits to really support that new person, to support that one that you imagine. People get dreams and imagination mixed up. Dreams are random. They're great. Imagination can be built. You're literally building your future. You can't control your dreams. You don't know what you're going to dream about. But you can control your imagination so you can dictate what your future is going to look like. Unless you don't believe that. But if you look it up, 
This is a scientific fact. These are facts that you can do it. This is not my opinion or the opinion of the WTF. Some we don't look on chat GPT to find. No, we know for a fact there's too many testimonials out there of people who have done it. But you have to start with a goal in mind and create the habits to support that one goal between April the 1st and June the 30th. That one, because this is going to start forming a new brain. Your brain is thinking different now, like, wait a minute, what we doing? You saying these words, you reading these books, you're listening to these videos, something is changing and it'll continue to change. But you got to start. You got to start, y'all. And it starts with going to our website, WTFMA.com and checking out our information. Look, look through our web pages, our bio. Check out our podcast, you all. Oh, and don't we have some guests coming up? Ooh. Some fire Ooh. guests coming up. Hey, listen, ah. listen, y'all. Hey, and it's not just limited to one subject or category, y'all. We are spanning the entire gamut of knowledge that is out there you know we this our first guest who uh drops some knowledge on me that you know i had never even heard even from Ernest, man so you know and both of y'all on there were super super dope i was just sitting back just gleaning from all the information and all the wisdom that both of y'all were uh spitting on that man so yeah everybody check out our podcast and let us know what you think share it out it's on all the platforms, Spotify, iHeartRadio, all that good stuff. And check this out. I want I want everyone to know that mark your calendars. Mr. Cordell Sims, who's the, uh, our first guest on our podcast, his video is going to go uh, live. We're going to be in the chat on April the 9th at 6 p.m. Uh, you'll see it on my Facebook page, um, YouTube, LinkedIn. We're going to be answering questions, uh, monitoring the chat, letting you all see this great interaction that we had. And we got several more bangers lined up. You all like it's, 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 it's the second quarter, because here's what we did in the first quarter. We tightened up our infrastructure. We examined what we were doing and said, we need to tweak it. And we started tweaking that thing. And now it's, it's, and we have others lined up. We had to make some reschedule because we couldn't even fit them in. But we have others lined up. So, again, go out there to WTFMA.com. Check out the podcast. Check out the YouTube. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't already. Share this with your friends because this is April. is called Financial, what is it, Financial Literacy Month? Oh, and that's perfect because my birthday is... Friday. So, hey, I got on the financial literacy guy. So that's something that I did not know, man. But that's, yes, I'm loving that. That's April is financial ironic. literacy month. And that's what we're talking about. And I know before anybody even think it, we ain't out here talking about get rich quick schemes. We nah. no rich is different for everybody. I believe I'm playing rich right now. My bank account don't say that, but my brain and my heart says I'm rich right now. So I don't care if I'm under a bad oc, living like a vagabond or whatever. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know what vagabond is. Look it up. But I love that word, especially when I'm cracking on somebody. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but seriously, you all like we got to take this first step of setting a goal and put a date on it. So there's a whole session. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a webinar. I'm committing to this right now. We're going to do a webinar that you all, it won't be live. It'll be a webinar. We might do it live too, but it'll be a webinar recording where we're going to walk you through every single step on setting your goals, creating your habits, putting dates on them. If it's a money goal, putting a dollar sign on it. And we're not talking about 10 years from now, I want to be a millionaire. Nobody cares about that. You don't know where the world going to be in 10 years. I'm talking about in the next three months. What do you want to achieve in three months? Give me that. I get it. We all want to be something because, hey, I just turned uh, 38. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know see it my age. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I got a few more years before I plan on retiring. That's a goal of mine. 
but I have to reverse engineer. Who was that uh, famous person that says, have the end in mind. If you want to be successful in life, imagine what you look like on your deathbed. What do you, ha- who's around you? What have you achieved by the time you're dead? And then start reverse engineering it. Bring it all the way back to today. Now, of course, that's going to shift, but you at least have the end in mind. That's the point of making goals. You got to be able to see yourself achieving those goals. And what does it look like you achieving before you even start the goal? You have to use the power of your imagination and build this goal out to say, okay, what do I look like 20 pounds lighter? If that's your goal, what do I look like with an extra zero in my bank account? What do I look like with 10 more people enrolled into the curriculum? Because I'm transparent with our goals. I want you can all can ask us whatever you want. Put in the chat. What are the goals of the WTF for the next quarter? And I'll tell you, this is not a secret. We are transparent because we want you all to achieve your goals, too. I'll name one. One goal is that we're going to definitely have 10 new enrollees in our curriculum. Over the next, and that's the minimum of 10. I want a hundred, but I, we're going to at least small bite size. I want 10 new enrollees in the curriculum. So if you know a teenager, if you know a set of parents that are struggling and school's about to end and they don't know what to do with these young folks, send them to the website, WTFMA.com. We'll get them enrolled into a curriculum. It's incentive based. They're going to make get them a few coins in their pockets, a few little things, some gift bags. It's a whole lot of stuff that we're giving out to our new uh, enrollees. But get them out there into the curriculum. All you have to do is set up that 30 minute consultation call and it's free to the public. So you don't have to worry about how much it's going to cost. What are the hidden fees? No, there's not. Because what we're doing is as we build these young people up and these parents up, we have sponsors ready to, to donate. We have sponsors that want to be associated with this WTF. They're waiting to, and we're holding them back like, wait a minute, we ain't ready yet. Hold back, we getting things together and, and, and getting this infrastructure in place. But uh, it's a lot happening. And so that's just one goal. We got plenty of others, but have a goal, you all. Don't just sit around like, hey, I'm going to just go to work. I'm going to just watch my same TV show and go to sleep, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. That's not the life you should want it or even desire. If you do, then I'm happy for you. But if you don't start today, you all, we got to set a goal. Hey, and how do we do that? So we're going to leave y'all off as we close this episode on this live stream with some actionable steps about how to set goals and um, how to, make those next steps towards achieving those 12 week goals. So he said a lot of great things and I want to condense that down to uh, some action steps that you all can take once this live stream has gone off and you all can start to work on yourselves. Okay. So one of the most important things to remember about setting goals is that they have to be smart. Some of you may have heard of this acronym. Some of you may not have heard of the smart goals, but Um, Hopefully I don't forget this, but it's uh, specific, measurable, um, attainable or achievable. Um, R is relevant or relatable to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve and timely. All Mm -hmm. right. So be specific, you all. Like he said, don't just say, hey, I want to be a millionaire 10 years from now. Put a date on it. Right. I want to be happy. Exactly. Like everybody want to be happy. There ain't no goal. <laughs> like something that you can be, you know, very specific about. Because the more specific that you are, and the more clarity that you have about what you want for yourself, the likely are the the higher the chances that you'll be able to achieve that. If you know where you're going, and if you know what you want, like if you are, if you hop in a car and you just start driving to somewhere that you ain't never heard of or never seen without putting in your GPS, how, how, what's the chances of you getting to that destination? Tell them, take me to happy. <laughs> hey, Siri, take me to happy. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know? I can't do that. <laughs> exactly. Right. So be specific, you all. All right. And also, uh, like, like I said, make it measurable. 
So be able to measure your progress, right? Yes. If if it's a dollar amount, make sure that you're keeping track of that. Um, if it's something that's qualitative or something that you can't really put into um, you know numbers, just try to you know make your progress visual in some type of way or form or fashion. Uh, draw something on your vision board that resembles Turn. like a, a, a meter, you know, that kind of gives you a ballpark figure of how close you're getting to that goal. Um, but make sure that you can measure it. So that way in your mind, you're becoming more and more encouraged as you get that progress. You're like, okay, these efforts are not going in vain. You can actually see your progress. So make sure you can measure it. Let me jump on this A real quick, Dimitri. I got to steal your thunder with this one. Because do, this do it. Do it. This, this one I done dealt with people before when we talk about goals. And I say, you can do whatever you want to do. And that's not true. Now, I'm not going to be able to dunk a ball like LeBron James. I don't give a damn what goal you set unless I'm standing on a ladder. <laughs> I'm not going to like you got to make it attainable where you believe you can do it. Like if you don't believe you can do it, it's not going to get done. I want to be the president of the United States uh, with my background. That's impossible. It's never going to happen. Why would I even set myself up to fail? That's where it needs to be attainable. It needs to be small enough for you to be able to grasp it and say, I can do this. I really can do it. You can't say in 30 days, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. You will be dead or either on meth, one of the two, and I don't want you to be on either one of them. So make it attainable, you all. Like it's something that, you know, if you're illiterate, say you want to be able to read a children's book, not an encyclopedia in, 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 in 12 weeks, because you won't. So make it, and, and it kind of leans into the R also, uh, but. Yeah, man, I want because people always say, well, what if I want to do this? And parents do this to their kids all the time. You can do anything you want, Timmy. You can be as great as you can be. Timmy, bow leg, knock knee, can't. You can be Michael Jordan. No, he ain't. He ain't built for that. Don't set these kids up to fail. But I, I digress, man. Hey. <laughs> Oh man, well said, brother. Well, got to keep it one hundred. You all like absolutely you, like know what you're capable of doing because there's far greater in us than what is in the world, and we all say that it's far greater in us than what's in the world. So I'm saying, take a bite sized piece to make yourself better. Even if it's I'm a, I'm a I'm gonna read three books, a book a month, whatever, just whatever it is. Make sure that it's attainable. So. Absolutely. All right, let me go on back, man. Do your thing, bro. I, you know, I can't keep nah, my mouth man, Listen, I, I, listen <laughs> the people need to hear this raw, authentic conversation, y'all. We came up with this topic 30 minutes ago. Right. <laughs> and so, you know, this is this is as real as it gets. And, you know, I'm sure the information translates very well. So I, I don't mind, bro. All right. So uh, going on to the R, y'all, is relevance. So make sure that you're setting a goal that is indeed your goal like don't set a goal that is like a person that you admire pitched to you that you know you think is cool I'm like no like think of something that you genuinely want for yourself right yeah. be an authentic genuine thinker be a free thinker for yourself like it's like it's too much information out here to be copycat what somebody else is doing like god put a certain uh gift mm -hmm. in you god put a certain talent in you he put certain mean, desires in you that other people don't have. And guess what? It's for a reason. It's for you to set your own goals with that. Right. So, you know, embrace who you are, embrace your authenticity and embrace your difference. And I guarantee you, once you lean into that with confidence and set those goals and be consistent man, the whole world's going to open up to you. So and don't set a goal that's negative. Like, I know mm. how some of y'all be thinking out there. Some of y'all be like, man, in, in four weeks, I'm going to kill this mother. No, that is not your goal. Stop it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. it. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's always positive. You know, it, it's all positive, you all. Be a better. Your, your goal should make you a better version of you. Absolutely. If it doesn't, then that scrap that one. We don't Bro, that's that. that's that's some I didn't even think about it like that. That's as simple as it gets. That breaks yeah. it down all the way. That's relevant. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true. What I does a that. better version of you look like? I mean, think about it. I ain't never mm -hmm. even thought about it. Well, then use your big old head and imagine a better version of you. And then when you see it, it may be a new car. It may be a new home. It may be a new significant other, a new job, whatever it is. That could be your goal. I'm tired of this job. I want another job. Then, okay, set a, set a goal. What do you look like in the, in the next job? What do you look like starting your own business? What do you look like, you know, your children graduate. Graduation is at the end of June. It's coming up between now and the end of June will be graduation. Maybe you want to do something big for your kids. Start the planning process now. That's a goal because you're going to be a better version of yourself just by going after it and achieving it. Even if you don't hit the mark, you still will become a better person. Jim Rome said this, and I'm, I'm, we're going to get to the T. Jim Rome said that he said, set a goal of uh, having a million dollars, and most people are like, well, I don't care about money, which is a lie. Whenever somebody say that, that means they'll lie to you about something else if they lie about that. But because <laughs> we live in a world where money is relevant, like it, it, it just is. But he says, set a goal to have a million dollars. He says, not because you have a, the million dollars, because you can give it all away. It, that's okay. It, it ain't about accruing nothing. It's about becoming the better version of yourself that can even go after a million dollars that can go after impacting a billion people right. and things like that. So make sure it's relevant. You all. And, and it, let me be quiet, man. <laughs> I talk about this all day long, bro. Like I got to do a webinar on this because this is so near and dear to my heart when it comes to goal setting. And again, I'm, First one to tell you, I missed the mark on many of my goals in this first quarter, but I didn't lay them down. I kept it going. Even if I hit the mark, I achieved so much and I became, became such a better version of me in the process that now this second quarter, I'm going to hit it even harder. And the third quarter and the fourth quarter, and you see how the compound effect happens? Absolutely. You see how compound interest People always want to invest in something to give, invest in you and mm -hmm. compound the interest of who you are. Because then people will be more interested yes, in you sir. and you'll see the numbers go up. Man, man I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you can't give them too much, man. Let them wait for the podcast and the webinar, man. Come I on. Have you. I can't. Have you. Uh, <laughs> hey, I, I freaking love it, bro. Um, all right. So, yes, this the, the T is timely and. I kind of touched on it in the first one in the specific, but yeah, make sure that you um, set a goal that's not too far out, um, but is not too near to the current state that you're in right now to where you, you don't allow yourself that time to try different things, make the mistakes and actually grow, right? Like you want to be able to be patient with yourself, but you want to, you know, work as if you want it or as if you're going to get it tomorrow, but at least give yourself enough time to let it come to fruition. All right. So, yeah, yeah, that's smart goals. And um, make sure that y'all tune into our podcast because, hey, we may do, uh, do a little bit deeper dive into this subject um, simply because he was just rolling and he had to stop himself. All right. So um, and, and we'll definitely touch on values as well. So once you identify your goals uh, using the smart method, then we'll dive deeper into how do you actually walk that path to achieving that goal and that's through your values right so mm. the values is that pathway to get into that goal but we definitely not going to go into that right now i just had to dangle that carrot in front of your face and let you know. there's a lot more where that came from yeah as always Be the best version of you the best if if june end of june comes and you're not a better version of yourself you drop the ball but we still going to be here at the end of June to help push you to third quarter. But we pray that everybody grabs this right now. Don't keep acting like you're immortal. You're not, not this physical body anyway. You don't know what tomorrow may bring, but you can still plan for it. And you don't want to put off saying, well, I do it tomorrow. What? What can I do? I, I'm going to say, man, I got to say this. Ed Millett, he, he has this story about his dad. If you all haven't seen go out there and check out Ed Millett's, uh YouTube pages. 
E D M Y L E T. The man is dope. Like he's all about mindset, but he said that he has a book called one, one more day. And he said, what, what would you give to have one more day mm. and flip it? What would you do if you knew you only had one more day? Would you say, I'm going to wait till tomorrow? Hell no, because mm. you ain't got no tomorrow. And when you carry yourself like that with your family members, oh, I'll call them <laughs> next week. I'll call them next month. Yeah. I, no, what if you only had one more day? And you keep that momentum with your goals, like, I, I got to go that hard, go hard, go hard. Ah, oh, you're going to be the best version that you ever been. And you're going to smile to yourself and realize all it took was setting some goals. Boom. Hey, and on that note, if anybody is afraid to take these steps and set goals, everybody, uh, simply because you heard E say that, we missed our goals that we set for ourselves. Always remember that the same goals. And I think Michael Jordan said this. I don't know who said it, but I think he said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So even though we missed a few of them shots, hey, we our percentage is still a lot greater than zero. All right. But if you didn't take any shots, your percentage is zero because you ain't even yeah. trying to shoot. All hey, right? and in, in sports, and look up the great Michael Jordan or LeBron James. Neither one of them averaged 70 percent, 65 percent on their field goals. Baseball, if you hit 350, you 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 win in the, the MVP. Yeah. Just by 300, you batting. Boy, you that means you done got you done struck out. Yep. Man, let me be quiet. Man. <laughs> you gotta go for it. You all go yep. for it. Go 2024 is the year to go for it. Go for it. Set your goals. And I promise you, we are here to help you go to that website, set up a call with us. If you're struggling with your goals, look at the podcast, of course, but set up that call. You all, we have a Calendly link out there. You can book book us and we'll definitely help you walk through that because we're here for the people. Facts. And on that note, everybody, thank y'all for your time. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with us, either on the live stream or on the replay. And we thank y'all for your interactions and your comments. We look at every single one of them and we appreciate you dearly. And always remember, WTF not only means what's the formula, formula. it also stands for what we stand for. And that's winning, winning takes. takes. Focus. And until next Wednesday, y'all, stay focused and keep winning. Peace. Yeah.